making a spacecraft, uh, making a spacecraft work, and you know, very exciting stuff. Um, but you know, ultimately, uh, like Jim was saying there, um, you know, it, it's a this is uh, really a story of people. Space exploration is done for the benefit of people, and uh, you know, it takes takes a lot of work. And one of uh, one of the people that uh, is kind of in the spotlight today is uh, Starliner's flight director. And uh, that is Ed Van Sice. And uh, he is at the helm here in Houston. He is NASA's 78th flight director. He was also the original uh, orbital flight director for OFT-1. Along with the entire flight control team, Ed is responsible for the operations and safety of the International Space Station. Starliner's human spaceflight mission and the safety of the crew. And he has the final say uh, as the flight director when anything unexpected comes up. Ed's call sign is Carbon Flight. You'll find that he's uh, very active on Twitter under that name. Um, Ed has a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering from the University of Michigan and is a frequent lecturer for many human spaceflight operations classes at Texas A&M. And uh, outside of this, um, he has more than 8,900 hours on console in Mission Control, 6,000 of which have been as a uh, flight director. Has also co-authored a number of space-related books, including a college textbook. And um, one more quick fun fact, back in 1981, he was just 13 years old and Ed went to space camp. And as the 78th flight director for NASA, He's now in the Space Camp Hall of Fame. And um, in fact, today he's uh, missing out on a bit of a big moment for his family to be here. His, uh, his daughter's graduating high school and will be attending the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. So clearly service to our country runs in the family. Ed also has a son who is wrapping up his junior year and plans to study music education after high school. And uh, in addition to being a proud father in his role in space, Ed considers himself a uh, kind of the family shade tree mechanic. He uh, spends, uh, told us he spends a lot of his free time working on cars in the garage and uh, sometimes some of the appliances that uh, have broken in the house. Yeah, true engineer at heart, not. <laughs> That's right, Steve. He's the right man for the role. Um, he's been. Uh He's been plugged in with the Starliner teams here and, and guiding them through every step of the way. He knows the vehicle inside and out uh, and is fully prepared for, for uh, this moment uh, coming up for, for docking. Now, of course, his next uh, uh, major milestone as the flight director in this room is to conduct a go, no-go poll uh, for the terminal phase initiation burn. Uh, this is a very important burn. Uh, we, we've been mentioning a couple of the burns through uh, Starliner's ride up to the International Space Station, this particular one. Uh, uses the reaction control thrusters uh, to move from that co-elliptic um, uh, plane that we've been mentioning, really following the International Space Station's orbit, but just right underneath it. Terminal phase initiation will bring it up 